dream comes true. You could swim along the river, all the way to the sea. You could fly up in the sky above the clouds and trees. You could plant a flower garden up on top of the moon. You could swing through the jungle all afternoon. Wherever our story takes us, I can't wait to see. Yes, friends, come and read with me. It's online story time. Hello everybody and welcome to Online Storytime at your Grand Rapids Area Library. I'm Miss Tracy and I'm Teacher Missy and we are so excited that you're with us today. Hey, before we start talking about that kind of stinky something <laughs> we're going to talk about today, should we sing? Oh, let's. Storytime friends, would you sing with us? Get your clappers ready whenever you're going to clap. Remember, you don't have to clap your hands, you can clap whenever you want to. Here we go. If you want to hear a story, clap your hands. If you want to hear a story, clap your hands. If you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, clap your hands. And I so want to hear some stories, don't you? Yeah, I know. So Teacher Missy, what do you want to talk about today? <laughs> well, we have a little friend here. I want you all to take a good look at. I bet many of our storytime friends know what this is. Because it's a cow. That's oh, right, because cows are black and white. Cows can be black and white, okay, yeah. Or no, it's a panda. Or a penguin. Oh, a penguin. I bet it's a penguin. What other black and white animal could it be, friends? One that might smell a little yucky. It's a skunk. It's a skunk. It's a skunk. And you know, they really are quite adorable, but they have that defense system. That's right. Um, of spraying them with uh, animals that they might, you know, think is a threat. That's right. Um, I actually, in preparing for story time today, I did a little reading about skunks. And skunks don't have very many natural enemies, but a fox or a well, sometimes a dog, but um, a badger, I believe. Could be a badger. And a wolf, and even an owl. An owl. And, and, and they said an owl, they are particularly dangerous because owls don't smell very well. No. So they don't care about being sprayed. I had an owl fly right in front of my vehicle during a snowstorm. Big, white, snowy owl. Carrying one of those Carrying in his skunk. mouth. Oh my gosh. Never in my life again will that happen. But I just remember thinking, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You can even eat that? It's <laughs> just, yeah. And, and I, I had understood too that they don't have a good sense of smell. Yeah. So skunks only have one way to defend themselves because they're too small to defend themselves from predators. So they have this nasty smell. Which, if it hits an animal in the face, it really hurts. It stings. Yeah, it, it burns. There, there's a, yeah, there's kind of a icky part to it. And then it takes quite a while for that smell to go away, even if you've worked at it. Yeah. And, Teacher Missy, I also learned that skunks are very valuable to people. And we'll talk about why later. Oh. We'll talk about why, how skunks help people. Okay. So, do you have a good story about a skunk? <laughs> I just might. <laughs> there's a book for us this morning. Oh my gosh, there's a skunk. There is a skunk. And, and a bear. I see some bubbles. Hmm. The name of our book is Who Needs a Bath? Hmm. Do you think a skunk might need a bath? And it was written and illustrated by Jeff Mack. And this great book comes to us from Harper Publishers. Okay, let's see here. Oh, I love the picture of the skunk. He's kind of a cute little guy. It was Skunk's birthday. Bear had a plan. Party at the pond. Don't tell Skunk. It's a surprise. There was just one problem. 
Who wants to party with a stinky skunk? Oh, not me. Oh, pew. Even Bear had to admit it. Skunk stunk. Bear had an idea. Hello, skunk. How would you like to take a bath? Ha, said skunk. Why would I want to do that? Because baths are fun, said Bear, and they make you smell nice. Well, I'm a skunk, see? And skunks never take baths. Luckily, Bear had another idea. Well, this slide will make your bath fun, he said. Oh, I doubt it, said Skunk. Well, just try it, said Bear. You'll, you'll go really fast. Okay, said Skunk, but I'll need a push. One push coming up, said Bear. Push harder, said Skunk. I am pushing harder, said Bear. <laughs> Almost there. <laughs> Look at his face. He's working really hard. Got it! Look out below! Splash! Uh-oh. Look who's going down the slide. See, said Bear, this bath is fun. Oh, you were right about the fast slide, said Skunk, but that bath does not look like fun. Luckily, Bear had another idea. Well, this swing will make your bath fun, he said. You'll feel like you're, like you're flying. Okay, said Skunk, but only if we can swing together. Hop on, said Bear. Creak. I think we're too heavy, said Bear. Oh, I'll fix that, said Skunk. Wait, said Bear, don't get up. Look what happened. Look at bears flying. Look at him. Splash. There. Now, doesn't this bath look like fun, said Bear? Oh, you were right about flying, said Skunk, but that bath does not look like fun. Boop. Boop. I can't help but notice that this skunk looks like a rat. His face is very pointed. <laughs> Luckily, Bear had another idea. It's a trampoline, said Bear. Now you can bounce into your bath. That's not fun, said Skunk. Well, it is if you bounce high, said Bear. Boing, boing, boing. You call that high, said Skunk? How about this, said Bear? Boing! Higher, cried Skunk. Bounce higher. <laughs> He's laughing at Bear. Crash! Uh-oh. Oops, said Bear. That's too high, said Skunk. No, it's not, said Bear. Can't you see how fun this is? <laughs> but Bear was just a little too heavy. Creak, splash. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, said Bear. Maybe, maybe it was too high. But <laughs> it was fun. That bath does not look like fun, said Skunk. I'll never take a bath. But you have to take a bath, cried Bear. If you don't, no one will come to your party. Huh? Asked Skunk, well, what, what party? Oops, said Bear. <laughs> Did someone say party? <laughs> it's a pool party. Surprise! Hooray! I love pool parties. And I love baths. It's a worm. Wait, cried Skunk, what about me? I, I want to have fun too. It's my birthday. Where's my surprise? Squish, squish. Look out, cried Bear. Whoops. Look what he slipped on. A bar of soap. <laughs> Boing. Oof. 
Swoop! Yikes! Look out below! Splash! Oh, okay, start off the page here. Okay. That was awesome! <laughs> I told you bats are fun, said Bear. And he got in there because of the bar of soap, didn't he? I think that's our last one. Well, you were right, said Skunk. What a surprise. Happy birthday, Skunk. And they're all rolling around in all those bubbles and water. And I bet he smells better. And that's a fun party. Yeah, it is a fun party. That's a very fun party. And here are some bubbles just floating away. I like bubbles. Well, it's gonna got a bath. Hey, Teacher Missy. Yes, ma'am. Story time, friends. Are you ready to do a flannel? Oh, I just love flannel board. And this one is so fun. If you remember at the beginning, I was talking about the fact that skunks help humans. And this song, is going to show us two very important ways that skunks help humans. And this song is called, I'm a Little Skunk, because that skunk is a little skunk. And this is how it goes. I'm a little skunk, I'm black and white. I sleep during the day and am up at night. When I get scared, I lift my tail. My spray scares predators without fail. Now, that's how the skunk helps himself. But how does the skunk help people? Here's one way. I'm a little skunk, I help the farm by eating the bugs that bring plants harm. Eating bugs and larvae help plants grow. The farmer gets more food from the seeds they sow. So the skunk eats all the little I tiny did not bugs. Know that. Yep. And we all get more food because of it. But there's another very important way that skunks help humans. I'm a little skunk. I like to eat. Spiders and grasshoppers, they're the real treats. I keep many spiders from your house. I gobble them up and I'm quiet as a mouse. And there you go, friends. So a skunk helps us by eating bugs off of plants and by eating the spiders that might come in to our house. So hey, thanks little skunk. Hey Miss Tracy, look at this. Oh my goodness, you have a book about night animals? Night animals. What are night animals? Well, night animals are animals that do most of their activity during the day, or I'm sorry, during the night, but they sleep during the day. Oh, so kind of opposite of what most of us do. Right, right. They're on a completely different schedule. And some of the animals that do that, one of them, if you notice on their cover, is a... A skunk! A skunk. You can sometimes see them during the day, but mostly you will see them at night. Um, and then with the skunk, this must be his little friend, and I, I do believe that that is a um, possum. I think you're right. A possum, yes. They must also be nocturnal or sleep in the day. All right. Who wrote well, this book, Teacher Miss? Oh, I'm sorry. This book was written and illustrated by Gianna Marino, and she's done some other books for kids as well. And this comes to us from uh, Viking, the Viking Publishing. And we're going to find out what's going on here. This little skunk has a little a little softer face than the one in the other book. It was just, looked like a rat, <laughs> a big stripe. Okay, hey, 
Hey, possum, what's wrong? But don't mind me while I flap around. Oh, it's too bright. I need somewhere dark and quiet to sleep. See, we were right, it is possum. Well, how about we sleep in that cave? Oh, it looks dark and quiet. What is that buzzing sound? Bees! Ouch! Run! And there's somebody else in the cave. <laughs> I love the face on that stuff. Possum! Watch out! What for? Uh oh, what's chasing him? <laughs> oh my. A few bees are after his little skinny tail. Thunk! Uh oh. <laughs> oh dear. How about we, we sleep in that tree? Ah, nice and peaceful. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Do, do you hear something? Crack! Uh oh. Uh oh, <laughs> the face on that possum. <laughs> what happened to the tree? Story time friends, can you tell? Uh oh, I think Beaver chopped it down with his teeth. Oh no, did, did I kill possum? Uh, are you dead again? Go away, said possum. Oh, Possum, I'm so sorry you're dead. He does that sometimes. This den is nice and dark. Come on down. Possums do that. Did you know that, Miss Tracy? Mm -hmm. They will play dead when they are feeling threatened. We're thrown from a tree. Something is down here. What, what is that smell? Skunks don't belong in wolf dens. That looks cozy and quiet. Look at Possum, just hanging there. <laughs> oh, poor Possum. Okay, come on, look. Cooperate. Somebody cooperate. Maybe it's me. Okay. Can, can you move over? Crackle, crackle. You're alive! Did, did you hear something? Said Bear. Crackle, 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 crunch, crunch. Oh, what could this be? Zipper! Poof! <gasps> Peter Missy, where are they? I think they're in a somebody's tent and that zipper was somebody opening tent. Uh -huh. oh boy we gotta see who's out there night animals run run <laughs> we'll never get any sleep sleep oh it's almost dark almost dark That time is for night animals to wake up. And there's a little bat in the tree talking to them now. They're also night animals. So they never even got to go to bed. I know. They spent all night trying to find somewhere to go to bed. That's right. I bet they're tired. I bet they are. And I did not know if, if this reference is fairly accurate, that bears were nocturnal. Because yeah, he's not, hanging out with them and I don't... I'm not sure they're totally not. They, they can't be completely, because you see them in the daytime. Yeah. yeah. So, well, they didn't get much sleep. 
been kind of a long and night. And night animals need sleep. They need sleep. Just yes, they do. Hey, story time, friends. Teacher Missy. Yes, Miss Tracy. Oftentimes, right now, we get our scarf up, but today, I'd like you to find your shaker. Can you find your shaker? Um, from your story time kit, you can find your shaker, or you can have a shaker made. If you don't have a shaker yet, right now, you can just pause this video, find something that you can put popcorn or beans or anything hard and dry in, and you can make a shaker. Teacher Missy has one that has bottle caps in it. It's just a little piece of plastic. I don't know. It used to have electrician's tape in it. Yeah, and it, it has like bottle caps it. in it. So Teacher Missy's going to use that one, and I'm going to use this one, and we're going to do a couple of shakers. Excuse me? Did you? What was that? Oh, of course. Story time, friends. What? Oh. Oh, they changed their mind. Yeah. Somebody wanted to be a story time friend and somebody else wanted to be a story time friend and the first story time friend said, okay, you can be the story time friend today. I'll be the story time friend next week. Okay. So our story time friend today is Monkey. Oh, oh, oh. Hi, Teacher Missy. Good morning, Monkey. Hello, story time friends. Okay, Monkey, you sit right here and you can listen while we shake our shakers. The first song is a warm-up shaker song, and it's called Shake, Shake, Shake. And here we go. Can you shake your egg up high? Can you shake your egg down low? Can you shake it side to side? Can you shake it by your toe? Can you shake it really fast? Can you shake it really slow? Can you shake your Egg. Let's try that again. Can you shake your egg up high? Can you shake your egg down low? Can you shake it side to side? Can you shake it by your toe? Can you shake it really fast? Can you shake it really slow? Can you shake your egg? Where did that go? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I also enjoyed shaking my egg. I know, it's kind of, yeah, that happens sometimes. Okay, here we go. We are now going to do a shaker song called The Skunk in the Woods, which is where skunks need to stay, I think, is in the woods. Here we go. We're just gonna shake it to the beat of our song. Do, 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 do. The skunk is in the woods. The skunk is in the woods. I hold. Just watch them, though. The skunk is in the woods. If you see skunk in the woods, don't, don't go anywhere near. Just slowly back away. Oh, look, here comes a fox. Oh, look, here comes a fox. I hold. Just watch them, though. Oh, look, here comes a fox. Uh-oh, do you see what's happening? Here comes a fox creeping up on the skunk. The fox creeps to the skunk. The fox creeps to the skunk. Hi ho, just watch them though. The fox creeps to the skunk. Uh oh, what's gonna happen? The skunk lifts up their tail. The skunk lifts up their tail. Watch out, Ow. Fox, you've crept too close. The skunk lets their scent sail. And there goes the fox. Hey, thanks for playing. Oh, Teacher Missy, what a great time I had today. Wasn't it just a fun, fun thing to talk about? We read some really fun books about skunk needing a bath. And about the night animals who were looking for a place to sleep. And they never found one. They didn't. They were so tired. Oh, my gosh. That was crazy. Can you imagine camping and opening up your, your tent? Zzzz, zip. And seeing night animals in there? That was crazy. 
That wouldn't really happen, though. That no, was just that, that wouldn't really happen. Yeah. And then we learned the good things that skunks do for humans. Do you remember what those are? Yeah, they eat bugs off of plants and they eat spiders. Lots and lots and lots of spiders. And you don't find them in your house. So those are a couple of great things that skunks do. You know, something else that we, I was going to mention before is if you notice little holes in your yard, just kind of random, that often is a skunk digging. Oh. They, they're looking for, for grubs. Okay. For worms and, and maybe spiders. Yeah, okay. sure. Lots of bugs. They like to eat those things. But now I think, my friends, it's time to say goodbye. Hang on, though. Before we say goodbye, Teacher Missy, can you share the story about your dogs being sprayed by a skunk? Well, I would love to share this story, and I'm glad it only happened once. Um, I had four dogs at this time, and I looked out the window in the daytime, mind you. It was during, it was like 10 o'clock in the morning, and I, I saw them all kind of in a line and looking at something, and I looked, and there was a skunk right in front of the four of them. And no sooner did I blink my eyes and I heard Meep! and the first dog got sprayed and then the next dog got sprayed and then the next dog, oh my goodness. Now, keep in mind these are dogs that live in the house. <laughs> so <laughs> it was kind of a mess. It took us a while to get them cleaned up. Wow. Yeah. But all four of them? All four of them. And I, I was surprised because it was during the day. Sure. You know, so he was looking for a place to sleep. That was probably <laughs> it. All right. Well, story time, friends. You can think about that story and kind of giggle because it turned out okay. It turned out fine. Yeah. Um, but would you sing with us? I think it's time to say goodbye. It is. All right. Here we go. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Yes, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Story time is done today, now it's time to go and play. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. <laughs> goodbye, everybody. Don't pet a skunk.